let's make a button. So before we make the button, let's create two cubes. One, and let's reset the position, and then duplicate it, Control D. And let's move a little bit, and we can change the angle of the camera to see them a bit from the front, around, something like this. And then select the main camera, Control Shift F. And then I'm gonna change the name of the cube to red and blue cube. And let's attach the material of blue to blue and red to red. And then I'm going to create a button, right click on top of the hierarchy and then go to the UI, you will see button text mesh pro. Click it. It's going to ask you about the TMP. TMP means uh, text mesh pro, which provides you higher quality of the fonts in Unity. So import TMP essentials. Well, you don't need to import TMP examples and extras, so turn it off. And we have the buttons over here. If you go to the uh, full HD view, and there might be the button, but I cannot see them actually. Uh, okay, it's outside of the screen, so we have to bring inside of the screen, something like this. We have the button inside of the screen. And then let's change the size of the button like 150 by 150 let's change the anchor point here now it is anchor pointed in the center so which means when we change the uh, size of the size of the game view the location of the button is going to be changed something like this or it's even outside of the uh, screen and then if we change into the uh, like this one so the the distance from the center to the button is always same currently. So if you want to make it always like from the left bottom corner, you have to anchor it to the left bottom. Click this and then bring it to the more proper position. Maybe I will give you the position by numbers like this. And now we have the button. And to change the button color, uh, when you select a button, you will see inside of the inspector and there is an image and color. So if you just change the color of the button, you will see the color of the button itself has been changed. And then if you want to change the image of the uh, button, just click this. You will see there is a already default buttons, which is rounded, rectangular and plus circle one. So if you select the uh, circle one, you see that uh, it has been changed into the circle. And, or what you can do is first, you can add any images with the uh, PNG file. So I can use this one or you can use whatever. I mean, so for now, I will use this red color of the chair and then bring it to the uh, Unity. And then to use it for the, uh, uh, the buttons, select the image. You need to change the texture type from default to sprite and then sprite mode select a single it includes the transparent background so alpha is transparency enable this and then just click the apply now you see that the, uh, the background has been changed to the uh, transparent so after after setup of this one and click the button go to the image and select this to circle and then you will see our new image inside of here so I'm going to click the chair red now you can see uh, the color I mean the image of the button has been changed and to change the text is if you open the button you will see text you also can change the size of the text something like this and then uh, maybe I will say off because I'm going to use this button of the object. Let's increase the size of the button because uh, we cannot see the text very well. Around 40 is fine, I guess, and maybe white color. And to change the font uh, inside of the button is here. So font asset, you can select any font, whatever you have. But now you can see the default font is just two. So we need to import 
the font. So I'll just import the font like this. But you also can go to the C drive and Windows and fonts and then drag them into the uh, Unity, whatever you want. So I'm using the uh, DIN right now. And to use them as a Text Mesh Pro, select one of them and then right click. You will see the uh, Create and then Text Mesh Pro and then Font Asset. If you select it, you will see there is a Text Mesh Pro Font Asset is, has been created. So go back to the text inside of the hierarchy. Scroll down and if you see here Font Assets and click this, you will see our new font which is Dean Bold. Now it's a little bit better than before. So to use this button without scripting is just scroll down here and then go to the on click and add the function. What we can do is every time when we click this button, we want to make uh, this red cube is going to be disappear. We want to turn off the red cube. So attach the red cube into the on click. And then if you go to the go fun no function, you will see game object and set bool and just make it just empty. That's it. If you run it, and when I click this button inside of the game view, you will see has been disabled. It cannot be enabled again because this one only has the uh, disable function. So to make a turn on the turn on button, let's copy this button first. Use a control D and I'm going to change the name uh, to avoid confusion. This one is off button and this is going to be on button. Let's move the on button around here and then let's change the image. I want to use this time I'd like to use a white chair to turn on. So I drag him again select it change to the uh, sprite and then single mode and enable alpha is transparency and apply. After that, uh, select the button again, select this button and select chair white. Now I'd like to change the text to on this time. And then go to the button. Since we just duplicated a red button, so you'll, you'll it already attached inside of the on click. So what we need to do is just enable this. So by clicking this one, uh, the function of this is going to enable some object. Every time when I click the off button, a uh, red cube is going to turn off. And every time when I click the on button, it's going to be turn on. So turn on off. That's it. 